Hello and welcome to The Summit. Thanks for stopping by here on Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and it is a privilege, as always, to get to visit with my guest today, Dr. Rob Ramsire, the Athletic Director for Friends University. And we had a chance to visit about nine, ten months ago, Dr. Ramsire, about, uh, well, some new introductions to the program. That's what we get a chance to do here again today. You're adding and adding to an already great athletic department, and it looks like you have some good things planned for the future there, friends. Yeah, good to be here with you, Joey. And last time we talked, we just announced the addition of powerlifting. And um, we announced on Monday we're adding or we're actually restarting men's golf, and then we're also adding men's and women's wrestling. So it's been a um, fairly long process getting there. Of Even when I came in, I'm at the start of my third year. Part of our strategic plan has been looking at places where we can be competitive and also grow. And um, these are some of the things that have been on our radar for a while. And we were actually proposed golf uh, the week everything got shut down last spring for COVID. So we, we shelved it and then just kept working at it and, um, and then put it back on the table about a month ago and, and got an approval from our cabinet and our board. So we're there are two programs that we think we can be extremely competitive in quickly. Um, I think we can just offer a very good experience to our student athletes. So we're, we're excited about it. Well, Hey, this, this whole COVID thing is, uh, is well, at least 2020, that perspective right there, we're in the fourth quarter now. So uh, we can, we can play out the fourth quarter. I, I, mm-hmm. I know we can, we can make it all the way through so many things that you have going on there. And, you know, we talked about, nine plus months ago about powerlifting, about FCA as well. And I'd like to ask about that too, but you know, this brings your total number of programs within this athletic department to 23 now. Is that correct? That That's correct. We, we tell people and we tell our student athletes when they, they come in in the fall, even before the new ads, we were the, the largest by number athletic department in the Wichita area and um, challenge our students. And we've won the, the KCAC Commissioner's Cup several times the last five years. That With that comes some responsibility. So yeah, we, we've continued to grow. Now the 23 is a little deceiving because indoor and outdoor track are considered two sports. Outdoor in track is considered two sports with men and women. So, uh, but yeah, we continue to grow. And you know, when the, when the opportunity is right and we feel like we can do it well, um, we're gonna be open to it. Well, and we certainly don't downplay either of those track departments as well because they're big, big parts of the athletic department as a whole at Friends. Now, those are some quality programs. Uh, they're they're fantastic. They're um, nationally uh, close to as good as it gets. We, um, Our track coach we lost last year, um, he moved to Denver, um, Cole Davis, but did a fantastic job building the program. And our Hall of Fame committee have immediately inducted him into our <laughs> Hall of Fame once he was gone, and we can do that. Uh, but we... We feel like we got a coach that's on par with him uh, named Henry Brunn. He came to, from Benedictine, and he is just – he can coach. He can recruit. He's organized. He's great. And then our cross-country coach is Jason Parr, and our women are in the top 25 right now, and he's just done a fantastic job. We, um, Yeah, we we see no reason why that program can't consistently be, be in the top five at a national meet, and we're just excited as can be with what they're doing. We're speaking now with Dr. Rob Ramsire, the athletic director at Fringe University, and uh, – Please do like and share this video and, and consider subscribing to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. We're going to talk a lot, and we do talk a lot about small college athletics and more. Uh, speaking now, of course, about Fringe University, but even not only the university itself, but also the KCAC, Dr. Ramsire. Uh, Friends has been playing sports this fall, football and, and soccer and, and volleyball, and, and uh, the conference has as well. And I just want to give a shout out to you all for taking those steps and, and for having competition here in the fall. And, and uh, you all just uh, con- continue to do, I believe, a great job. Well, thank you, Joey. It, um, it certainly hasn't been easy, um, but we've worked incredibly hard at it of how to do it and do it well and as safely as possible. And I give a lot of credit to Dr. Scott Crawford. He's our, um, he's our KCAC commissioner. And he's done a nice job. And he's really methodically led us through this. He, he formed a COVID um, committee that I'm part of that has a couple of presidents, a couple of ADs, an athletic trainer or two. And we spent a lot of time at it and have tried not to make knee jerk decisions and, and take our time to do, do what's right for the conference. And, um, you know, knock on wood so far, um, we certainly had our issues, um, but it, it's going about as well as probably anybody could have hoped for overall, not to, um, yeah, lessen some of the difficulties people have had. But if you would have told me in July, we'd be sitting here on, a, on October 7th, four football games in, I probably would have told you you were crazy, but 
um, we're, yeah, we're working hard at it and we're proud of our student athletes and coaches for doing everything they can to, to keep it safe and stay on the field. You know, to this point, you haven't had to miss a football game yet. And, and again, I understand that uh, it, it is what it is. You just continue to hope that uh, you can continue with that. It's football season, so we would be remiss to not talk about football just a little bit. The Falcons 1-3 and three on the year so far. And the last two weeks coming up, just I, I'm sure for Falcons fans, painfully short, rallying to come back and just uh, just a little bit short of the W in, in the end. But um, – program as well football season coming along yeah you know we just we need to figure out how to start better um <laughs> we we've started poorly the last two weeks and our kids have shown a large amount of resilience coming back and fighting and being there at the end having a having a chance i i, I want to say we lost by two two weeks ago and it was three points maybe last yeah, week and yeah. they've just been right there and we need to need to figure out how to get over the hump yeah, when it comes down to a two-point conversion, I mean, you you are definitely playing down to the wire there and getting it yeah. done. But uh, I know Falcon fans are cheering you on, and they'll, they'll continue to get that opportunity. As, as we wrap up our time together, we mentioned at the outset that the last time we visited was about FCA and, and mm-hmm. adding that, and that was back in January here of this year. That seems like so long yeah. ago. Oh, my goodness. Uh, how, how's it been going? How's that uh, the FCA program progressing? It, it's been fantastic. Um, yeah, we're we're into year two, and we have so we're scholarshiping two interns a year with a little extra money, and they meet with Keep Towns and our FCA rep, and go through curriculum. They lead the huddles. They're doing on campus ministry, and with the hope of the fourth year, they're going out to the schools as FCA leaders. And one of FCA's goals as an organization is to have an FCA trained person in every community. So that's where the win win came in the partnership. Is eventually these these interns are going back to their home communities and hopefully being being FCA interns. But the impact I see on our campus is, is with our coaches. Um, Keith meets with them. He runs some weekly stuff. He meets with our administrative staff, um, which is a time that we just started that I greatly value where we just set aside some time in the week to talk and to pray and to, and to be together. Um, and the other neat thing that started this year is he's, he's done it with three or four of our teams already where he's doing a thing called one word. He took it from a book called One Word Will Change Your Life, where he meets with the team, takes them through some guided questions to to hopefully provide them with some focus on motivation of what's important. And they pick a word that becomes their theme. And I and I've coaches have told me and Keith told me it's been some pretty powerful times. So it's been it's been neat. And I think we're just scratching the surface. Um, we're committed to raising money for Keith to helping him make it work. So if anybody has a heart for FCA, call me. Love to tell you about it. Um, and it's also a national, it was a national pilot. Um, Kansas Westland is doing it now as well. And we're really hoping it grows and other schools do it and can really work at intersecting faith and sport and what that can look like at, at schools like ours. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Well, we were, we we're going to continue to follow along. Maybe we get a chance to visit with uh, Keith on the, on the uh, summit sometime soon and talk more about what you all are doing there. In the meantime, Friends University adding three more programs men's and women's wrestling, and bringing back men's golf to the campus there at Wichita. Success to you, Dr. Ramsire, to you and to uh, the entire athletic department there and what you're doing and the impact that you're having both on and off the fields and the courts as well. Thank you, Joey. We really appreciate all you do. Very, very glad to, to again have you on the program today, and thank you to everyone for watching again. I encourage you, please do subscribe to the channel Midwest Sportsnet, and we'll be back with, uh, with more as we continue to talk small college sports here on the summit. God bless you, and have a great day.